hello guys welcome back to my channel how you all doing i hope you're all doing okay this is yet another lovely tutorial how to make a waterfall kimono jacket if you enjoyed this video like you do don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and come back next time tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to this channel i love you guys so much follow us on facebook on the link i'm going to drop on the description box if you want us to make a video of a tutorial any tutorial of your choice drop it in the facebook group thank you guys so much and let's get right on to the tutorial so guys we're going to be starting off by cutting the back so we'll be cutting the back first so as you can see i've already placed my fabric i'm going to cut in the two at the same time this is we're going to be using one as the lining then the other as the main fabric so this is the back so we're going to be cutting a basic body gown a basic gown measurement a basic gown for this so this is what we're going to cut on the back so as you can see i've already drawn my my shoulder line my arm bow line my waist length and my hip line so you just go ahead and increase your body measurement for the shoulder the normal shoulder is 14 but i'm going to be taking 13 inches for I, I want the shoulder to be slim so i'm going to be taking 13 inches for the shoulder so 13 divided by 2 is six and a half and then i'll go ahead and take the rest of the other measurement the bust the waist and the So we are done cutting the back piece. I decided to use this particular fabric because it is more obvious and clear to see. So we are done cutting the back piece. For this project, I'm using two yards of fabric for both sides, both the lining and the main fabric. I'm using two sides, two yards of fabric. So we simply take the after cutting the, the back piece, simply take the remaining parts of the fabric. I'm also going to cut the front and the back together for the front. So we are just going to place the back top of the front like this mm. we are going to place, the, place it on top like this we want to get the shape out mm. so as you can see this is the front you see where my front is facing I left some space over you can still do it like this but I decided to make the angle face this area so that the front will be straight so first of all we want to get this shape out for the front After we are done cutting out the side, the shape, now we come back to the front. The neckline, but for the back, we took one and a half inches. So we want to take three for the front. So we are going to extend it all the way down. So what we have here, the extra space we have here, we have 12 and a half inches. You can make yours up to 20 16, but I'm just going to make the use of the fabric space that I have because I present I use only two yards of fabric. If you want it to be very long, you can make it up to 20 inches. So I'm back to our neck, we're going to extend it. So we'll extend it and then we'll connect it. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect it from this point down to the end of the dress. So we're going to take our ruler. We're going to take our ruler to connect this to the end of the 
Because they bought some of the cow. So this is what it's going to look like. So if you want this part to be called, if you, if you don't want it to have a sharp edge, what we are going to do now is to first of all look for the middle. Find the midpoint of this. From here to bottom, measure it. We have 41 inches divided by 2. We have what 20.5. So this is the midpoint. So the midpoint from the midpoint to go up by two inches and then from here you create your curve you give it a curve to meet this point and then continue the curve to the edge so we are just going to cut this out now So this is what it looks like by the time you are done with it. So the first thing we are going to do is to take this on sewing machine and join the shoulder individually. So we are going to join this first piece and then we we'll join the shoulder of the second piece. So after joining the shoulder, the next thing is to shape up the sides using the one inch seam allowance we let we added while we're cutting this dress so we are going to shape up the sides of the two pieces now so the next thing to do now we are going to place it the front facing each other and starting from the neck or wherever you want to start from we are going to be turning this round round the whole dress we are going to be sewing this round so we'll be sewing it Round, down, everywhere, and then we need to turn it out from the armhole. You know, the armhole is still open. So we are going to be sewing around the neck and the bottom. So you can simply pin this round, or you just go ahead and sew it like that all round. So let's do this. Okay, guys. After turning it out, we have this, this is what we have. Don't forget to notch all round. Don't forget to notch all round. So we are going to be bringing it out now from the armhole. So guys, this is what we have. After we have finished turning it out, as you can see, the dress is it's ready it's almost ready we just have to do one last step then we'll no, take it to the iron and give it a very good press so the armhole is still open what we do we just take this our sewing machine and fold it in so just fold it in both sides fold it in and then we sew round so we fold it in all round just like this so it in so it very neatly. So let us do that now, and our dress is ready. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't leave without subscribing if this is your first time. Don't leave without liking and drop a comment down below on the comment section to show me show me some love, guys. Thank you so much and see you on the next one.